Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at something really, really important in microbiology, your aseptic or your sterile technique. So you can take the bacteria you want and put it into a sterile broth. Thank you to Tuition Kit who are supporting me and allowing me to buy all of this equipment so I can show you how to do all of the experiments. One of the most important things when we are working in microbiology is to keep everything sterile and do things quickly. The best way to do that is to be organised before we even start. So I have all of my cultures um, that I'm going into labelled. They're next to the ones that they are coming out of. They're labelled on the lid and they're labelled on the bottle. So there's no mix-up of lid and bottle and I know exactly what is in each one. Here I have my spirit burner and what you need to do is with your left hand we're going to need to open the lid keeping it as close to the flame as possible having this one has agar in it so I'm having that slanted so that I can get my inoculation loop into it I'm going to heat my inoculation loop until it is hot you can see it's starting to glow red there I'm going to do that all the way down I'm going to wait until it cools but I'm going to leave it to cool next to the flame so that any um, bacteria in the air doesn't get onto her loop. I don't want to use it when it's too hot, otherwise it's going to kill the microorganism that I'm culturing. So now I can take my lid off, take it off like that, flame the top, go in there, take a couple of cultures, flame the top, put the lid back on again. Into the agar that it's going into, lid off, flame the top, wiggle it around, flame the top, lid back on again. Flaming the loop completely to kill anything that's in there so it's glowing red hot again. All the way down the inoculation loop. Again, leaving it to cool, but leaving it to cool next to the flame so that it doesn't pick up any bacteria from the air but also doesn't get too hot to kill anything. Opening the uh, tube that has my culture in it, flame the lid, get a sample, flame the lid, close it. My nutrient broth, open it up, flame it, inoculate it, flame it, close the lid, heat the loop. You can hear a slight crackling going on. That is just the bacteria, the um, culture media just burning off. You can see my loop is now glowing red hot again. I'm going to move it down. So last one here, again letting my loop cool down next to the flame so that it doesn't pick up any bacteria from the air but it's not close enough to the flame that it's still going to be hot. Taking the lid off the culture, flaming it, picking it up, flaming it, lid back on, into my nutrient broth, lid off, flame the nutrient broth, inoculate it, flame it, and then finally cleaning the culture loop of any bacteria that's on there. 